Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the next installment of our Pergamon campaign here in Rome 2, Total War. Pergamon just sounds like it's an animal. Like like Pokemon or Digimon. You got Pergamon. Sounds like something that's gonna squirt water on me or electrocute me. Pergamon actually sounds more like a like a poison animal, like a bug. Okay, so we've got Ares Wrath on our way to somewhere. <laughs> it's been it's been like two weeks since I played. I apologize. Let's um try to remind myself what's going on here. If memory serves, we're on our way to Cilicia to take on the Seleucids. Pretty sure that's what's going on. How's our army looking? Got a nice full army here with a hero. Who's making them feel happy. Just a buttload of hoplites really. Baseload of hoplites, we've got our general on horseback, bunch of slingers, a couple archers, about it so we'll let him do his thing if memory serves we have a second we army for battle. here that we were kind of pouring some troops into let's see if we can't hmm, javelin men have a lot of melee a lot more melee defense Their missile damage is not as good as archers, but better than slingers. They're also cheapest out of the three. Range is the worst. Shots per minute better than archers, equal to slingers. Ammunition by far the worst, by a lot. Melee attack the same as all three. Or the other two. Weapon damage the same. Charge bonus the same. Melee defense the best. Armor the second best. Health the same. Base morale the same. I don't think so. I think I'll go slingers. Soldiering. Throw me some slingers. Get me some archers. Some peltasts. Javelin armed light infantry used to harass slower, heavier enemy units. Yeah. Levy pikemen. We will ignore the levy pikemen, I think. This doesn't have to be a huge army, actually. Let's get rid of the archers. Just give me a total of four. Um, maybe not. Two of each. That'll make me feel better. I'm indecisive. Get them both. Throw me some... Hoplites, I guess. Yeah, that'll be fine. There you go. I think that'll be sufficient for that army, at least for the time being. Someday, relations will go sour with somewhere in the north, and I plan to be prepared. So corny. Where does the beard stop and the helmet begin? Police reporting. Action points. Oh, that's just how far he can move. Again, creative assembly. You can move farther than that in a month. Guarantee freaking tee it. Holy crap, people. So ridiculous. They can move farther than that in a month. And I actually don't know how long a turn is in Rome 2. Maybe I'm a fool. I don't know. Maybe. Don't answer that. Shut up. So we want Tarsus. We were going to go for side seed day. I don't know. We'll call it side. I'm American. 
but the uh, who is this? The children of Tyche. Cyprus. You're over here somewhere. Where are you at? Where are you? Where's the rest of you? I am confused. Oh no, it was Galatia. Galatia took something over here, like this guy. Something like that, I don't know. Who else am I at war with? Slaves, everyone's at war with slaves. It's kind of dumb to even have them on there. Media. Media is way in here. I haven't even met them before. Don't know who they are, but we are at war. Go figure. And... Dranjana. Oh, I think is another one of those. Yeah, look at that. The other freaking side of all of that. The heck. Okay, can't press escape to leave this map mode. Something that should never have been a problem. Ever. Now I need to be reminded of my objectives. Forces, provinces, factions. Toggle strategic view. Hello, strategic view. Okay, don't press that. Where are Jethko's objectives? What is this? That's the game menu. Chat, encyclopedia, advisor. Oh, that reminds me. Gotta turn off the freaking advisor. Did I already turn them off? Graphics, battle interface, game settings. Ha! Freaking none. Shut up forever. What is this? When ticked, he will inform you about important developments on the battlefield, such as... Yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. We'll keep that. Let me know when they dog. Who are they allied with? Can I take them? We're trading, though. We're kind of buddies. Military ally, Bithynia. Oh. But we don't really care for the Adrisian kingdom. Not even a little bit. Not even a tad. And it's not going to improve, I think. They are already at war with Macadon. Right here. What do we think of Macadon? We're buddies. We trade. We're friends. They don't like that we have a treaty with Sparta, but they can shove it! I'll have treaties with whoever I freaking please. Wow, I'm trading with a lot of people, actually. Everyone I can trade with, except the Odrysian Kingdom. Okay, this is nice to know and everything. Set war coordination target. I didn't know that was there! It's freaking sweet! Is it in here? Stats, records, politics, stats? No. Records? Summary. It's not gonna be in politics. Freaking! Oh my gosh! How did you go from Shogun 2, where it's so freaking easy to find your objective, to Rome 2, where it's a freaking puzzle? How can. How? How did you people do that? So many things that you took out of just the base game and made it horribly worse. Oh, hey. A little trophy right here that probably tells us our objectives. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Alright, chapter objectives. What's the freaking difference? Okay. Bonus objective. Forge a defensive or military alliance with the following faction, Bithynia. We already did. Didn't we start with that? Did I do that? Forge a defensive or military alliance with the following factions, Pontus. Oh, Pontus! You're not even on here. Where's Pontus? Oh, Pontus! Oh yeah, you can't do that. 
and completely control one province's English much, either by direct ownership or through client states and military allies. And right now we don't. Click on something. Yeah, we would need roads, which is right there, and they are trade partners or something like that. I think we have a non-aggression pact with them. They have quite the little army right there. Freaking 20 out of 20. Full army. I don't know that I ever want to take them on. I'd have to get two armies to make myself feel better. And Pessinus, which is... Yeah, that's what I was going to go for with my northern army. I don't know if I said it out loud, but I was going to make my northern army and take Pessinus. But the Galatians did it first, because they are geniuses. Genius! Apparently, I can upgrade stuff. Temple of Poseidon. Gives six food, my uh, plus two public order per turn, plus two Hellenic cultural influence, plus 10% wealth from maritime commerce, level two ship holes. I see no reason why I shouldn't build that. Go forth. Minus three food. Which kind of sucks. But it'll finish the same round as the level 3 Temple of Poseidon. Which gives me 6 food, so it'll even out to 3 food. Plus 1 army recruitment capacity, minus 5 mercenary recruitment costs, provides additional garrisons, and unlocks skirmisher cavalry. Yes, please. Jethko wants. Jethko wants. Me, Jethko. Just got one army. Large army. My name shall be remembered. The freak? I leveled? By traveling? Hmm. I've got a champion in that army. Even in the boats, the champion is like... Whoop -ish, whoop -ish, whoop -ish. You don't swing so like this. You swing so like this. <laughs> I don't know why I threw in an Asian deal. Mission issued. Capture any settlement. Freaking any of them. Take a choice. We'll give you some money if you take freaking anything. Come on, Jethko. Do anything at all. I feel like my chair is broken. I'm going a lot farther back than usual. Okay, so I was looking at this to see if Cyprus had any friends. Not only do they not have any friends, they're at war with freaking everybody. Seleucids... An undiscovered faction, media. It's pretty much everybody that I'm at war with, plus one. Who I've never heard of. Having that been said, they would probably be attacking me if they knew me. Ha ha ha. Your orders. Wait a minute. They are at war with plenty, no military allies, no defensive allies. But we're super friendly. They're Hellenic, same as me. I have military allies, Bithynia and Rhodos. I knew that. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to go with Seleucid. It's strange that Cyprus is right here, because if I'm not mistaken, this little island right here is modern-day Cyprus. This. Man. It's so frustrating. It takes so long to get anywhere. Hey, forgot about that. Skills, let's see. Plus one zeal. Plus one zeal. Authority. Cost of performing all actions. Oh, it's my hero that leveled up. Oh, cool. What was this? No. No, he's going to be like my army trainer. Sure, authority. I guess that would be the one to choose with all those options. What are we researching? We are researching engineering. I don't know why, but we are. We'll just let it finish. It's only got one more round to go. Fleet. Fleetum. I think I wouldn't mind landing here and walking the rest of the way. 
I think I need to ask them for military access. Athena give you wisdom, so that you may speak well and persuade me of your cause. Be welcome. Or, uh, or not. I guess I don't have to ask the military access. We have a trade agreement, so I guess I can walk all the way over there. I suppose. Are you going to get all pissed off if I do? Going ashore. Drop anchor. Go freaking attack that. It's going to take you a year to get there, but hey, you'll get there eventually. I think that may be one of my least favorite features of any Total War game. The length of what it, the tra you. travelable Show your space. Strength. Engage these foes Arminia. and by so doing put fear in many hearts. Where the balls is Armenia? Isn't, aren't they like freaking way up there? Well, tell me where they are. They're going to pay me to join a war against somebody I have just no freaking idea who they are. Who art thou? Sure, why not? Give me your freaking money. I'll join your war. Cool. I'm at war with somebody else now. I don't know who they are, but they're going down. Is that them? <laughs> Is that you? Is that you? No, you're my friend. You're my friend. Okay. So we got logistics. We have engineering, which gave us a workshop. Well, it let us... It enabled the building of workshops. I think what I was thinking was defense more than offense. More than thinking strategic offensive siege craft, I was thinking defensive. Because that gives me plus one enemy siege holdout time and it um, enables settlement gates to pour boiling oil in all regions. Sounds like me. Boiling oil and whatnot. Let's see, money? Ooh, yeah, money. Enables recruitment of rank one dignitaries. Don't care. Plus one growth in all provinces per turn. I like that. Minus 5% provincial capital and minor settlement main chain construction costs. Heck yeah. Plus one, yeah, tax labor. All about that. I want that. Give me that. Attack that. Uh oh. I may incur this faction's wrath. Well, it wasn't a freaking option. Welcome, welcome. Look at this. In it's a spirit not an of Olympian hospitality, I welcome you and will listen with care. Blah, 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 blah. Shut up. You should be able to turn that off. All the way. Forever. It's not an option. You got payments, you got cancel trade, you got declare war. Nowhere on this list of three things does it list an option to ask them to please let back, me walk through their back. land and it takes freaking two months to get back it took one month to get there two months to get back to the ships freaking stupid crap if i start a war I'm, i should just freaking kill them i'm here they're not allied with anybody i should drop them i would only be losing 80 trade value Our balls is a satrapy. Is it like a vassal? Jethko must know. Let us search this word. Trustydictionary.com. Looking it up, looking it up. Satra. Yeah, satrapy. It guessed. The province or jurisdiction of a satrap. <laughs> well, freaking thanks. Oh my gosh. Didn't tell me anything. How about the Thesaurus? Dear Thesaurus. Just about as worthless. There are no synonyms available for satrapy. How about satrap? 
Governor, Representative Nabob. So does that mean if I attack Cyprus, Egypt's going to be all up in my grill? Crap. Well, we'll just leave their lands then. Well, we were going to come party, but you know what? I'm just going to leave if you're going to be like that. Egg wiped. Boy! Oh yeah, I forgot to look at freaking where Armenia was or whatever. Whoever I just declared war with. Oh, they just left their city! <laughs> I could totally wreck their face! I really wish they would use different terminology. While hunting for her kidnapped daughter, Persephone, the goddess Demeter rested at the town of Eleusis. Disguised as an old woman, she came to care for the queen's son, Triptolemus, and taught him the secrets of agriculture. Such myths inspired the annual festivals of the Mysteries. The lesser mysteries, held in the spring, represented in rite of purification, initiates, initiates would sacrifice a piglet and bathe in the river Elysos in readiness for the greater mysteries. Oh my gosh, that's a lot to read. Just freaking tell me what is this. Plus four Hellenic culture influence all regions. Plus four public order in all provinces for four turns. Sounds good to me. Inspired populace. Plus eight percent tax rate. Plus six. <laughs> freaking stuff is looking pretty good for the next couple of turns. No problem. So crap. I might save here in order to decide whether or not to just take this city. They left. I get a warning about being in their country, about being in their little province here, their city area, whatever you want to call it. They're like, hey, you better get out of here. We're going to attack you and then leave, completely leave the province. Probably to go take something over in the name of Egypt. Okay, before I forget, who is... Armenia. Way over yonder. I don't see you being a threat right at the very moment. You're landlocked and you would have to walk all the way through Bithynia's area. Two areas, really. Three. Four. Holy crap. Yeah, you're not going to be a problem. Sure, I'll help you. Fat chance. So this is part of Tarsus and Salamis, and Antioch is part of something completely different? Well, that doesn't make any sense. Good Ready thing I'm not a developer. Okay, you get in the ocean for the time being. Just hang out. And I want to actually figure out what the freak a satrapy is. Will Egypt come fight for Cyprus if I attack them? Because they're a satrapy of Egypt. Maybe that's why I can't negotiate military anything. Because they're a puppet, maybe? Satrapy of Egypt means that Egypt governs them. So yes. I guess it would be best to just come right over here. No, no, not that way. I know it's faster, but we have to go the dumb way. Actually, no, we don't. We could have just walked right over here and just... Hello, we're out of your area, hee hee hee. Maybe we should go help them. I mean, it would mean more lands. Are you going to yell at us? Are you going to be like, oh, get out of my lands. Oh my gosh. You 
you guys want a great, great series? I offer this in the name of our people. Oh my gosh, Let are you this drunk? be a sign of goodwill to come. Definitely drunk. Definitely. He's offering military access and 320 buckaroos. Alright. You got it. Military access is yours. And your money is mine. All mine. It's been 25 minutes. Should probably cut this. I'm so sorry. It was such a boring episode. Didn't get a battle in or anything. Finished tax labor. That makes you guys feel any better. I liked this. That's not what I wanted. Not even close. I want Pessinus. You're a jerk. I actually never did look at my ultimate objectives. I need to control 90 settlements, either by direct ownership or through client states and military allies. Completely control the following six provinces, either by direct ownership. Asia, Bicinia and Pontus, Macedonia, Mesopotamia, which is actually pretty far away. Egyptus and Magna Gracia. It's a freaking huge area. I'm going to be playing this for a while. Economic victory. Maintain trade relations with 15 factions. I have seven right now. Hold at least one of every strategic resource. I'm more of a military victory kind of guy, I guess. Just let it burn. Just burn the whole place down. Kill everybody and take it all for yourself. So those places again, we need Asia, which we are well on our way to getting. We started with two of them. So we need to get roads. Are you somebody important? Are you freaking being protected by somebody? No. But we do have... Oh, well, it's said by... By military alliance. Completely control the following six provinces, either by direct ownership or through client states and military alliances. So we have a military alliance with roads. Not with Galatia. No. And they're literally at war with everybody that we are, too. We should be free. We have need of talk, I'm sure. But we also need good food, a warm fire, and warm women. Shut up. Military Alliance? Not by. Yeah, never mind. He'll let us know when he's ready. Really, I just want Pestness. Maybe I should be like, hey, dude, can you give me Pestness? Some money for Pestness. Welcome, worthy friend. Let us break bread and drink ale before words pass our lips. Their economic power weak. They don't have any ports. Oh, uh, by now. Okay, so we're getting our army over here. All hands to the Slowly but surely, Returning it is shore. happening. Hopefully a navy doesn't come out of nowhere and just destroy us. Oh, that was quick. Kind of quick. Yep, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Freaking crap. I hate it so much. How am I supposed to get over there? Run Back! away! Now nah, he's gonna chase done. me. Now. <sighs> we really gonna do this? It'll have to be next video. I'll take him on, do the best I can. The computer's not giving me great odds. Thank you guys so much for watching this incredibly boring video. If you stayed throughout this whole thing, freaking kudos to you. I didn't do a freaking thing. And now I'm gonna get my butt handed to me. Big time. 
So be sure to leave some feedback in the comments section. Like this video if you liked it. If you didn't, I'm sorry. Leave some feedback. Let me know what I can do better, as if I didn't know already. And subscribe to the channel, because there will be daily uploads of all kinds of stuff. A lot more exciting than this video. See you guys next time.